Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and we are back in Undertale because I am super excited about the actual like prospect of finishing the game and getting through it. And like, if you didn't see yesterday's episode, it was amazing. Like, I, I cannot describe how cool it was. Um, just so many things at the end, and I think we have everything that's that's needed to um, go and complete the last. Parts. Um, so, we had to go and fight Asgore, and it turns out I didn't kill him. Um, I fought him down to like his last breath, but I did not like deliver the final blow. Um, and we did not kill Flowey. So, technically speaking, I still have not killed a single person, or a monster, or a thing. So, very cool. I'm still extremely happy about that. Um, we are going to head down to L1. I, th I think L1 is where we need to go. So, uh, uh oh, I got I got messages. I got things happening. Maybe I should look at those. Possibly. Mm. Mm. Hold on. What? Who is it? Okay. Uh, we can take this elevator down. Yay. Okay, now here's the bridge in between the MT. We should get a telephone call. <gasps> yes! Ring. Hey, um, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus. <laughs> this was your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please. I am at Snowden in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk! Click. Oh, uh, this is because... Hold on. It's because my inventory's full. No! Should I start over? Uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, let's go to cell phone. Dimensional box, wrong one. Uh, cell phone, dimensional box, two. There we go. And we can put some of these over there. Just like that. Because we're gonna, we will need those again. Um, and then, let's see. So we keep going. Go, 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 go. <coughs> We're going to have to go over to Snowden and pick up... Wait. That's not right. I thought this was... Hold on. Where do I need to go? No. Um... Hold up. Ah, there we go. That's R3. And we need to head down to L1, left floor one, which is the farthest left-hand side of the map that I can possibly get to. And right here, we should have the boatman. Hello, boatman. Tra la la. Yes, yes. Let's go for a ride in your boat. We're heading to Snowden. Then we're off. Do -do 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 Oh, it's not running this time. And it's not a doge. Tra-la-la. Why don't you sing with me? Tra-la-la. I wonder if it's listening to the microphone. <gasps> if the game listened to the microphone and was like, Oh my gosh, they sang with me. And then like gave you bonuses and stuff. That'd be cool. Come again sometime. Tra-la-la. <clears throat> okay, so Papyrus. Oh, no. Over here. Go down here, this way. Okay, hold on. I have the mysterious key on me still, right? It's locked. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, oh, 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 let, tell you what, let's talk to her first. Um, so I have a favor to ask. Uh, I, I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Alfie's. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well... It's kind of personal, but we're friends, so... I'll tell you. Hotland sucks! I don't want to have to go there! <laughs> so there. So, here you go. <laughs> you got the Undyne's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. Should we read it? 
No, we are good friends. We would never do that to her. All right, let's go to the dimensional box. Uh, dimensional box. Awesome. Mystery key. Okay, so we got the mystery key. What's back here? It's locked. Uh, items. You use the mystery key, but nothing happened. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that doesn't work. Hmm. I'm going to have to figure out what the mystery key does. Uh, okay, so let's head back over to Alfie's. And we're going to slide the letter under the door, I think. Now, I didn't have to come all the way back here. I don't think. Tra la la, care for a ride? Yes, let's go for a ride in the boat. Where are we off to today? We're going to the hotland, sir. Then we're off. Yay, we got the doge, doge boat this time. <clears throat> Tra la la, the waters are wild today. That's bad luck. I love this game. Hmm. Ah, come again sometime. Tra la la. -da -da. Strange laboratory in a place like this. You're filled with determination. Save. Hotlands Laboratory. Laboratory. Going to see you. The door is. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under? Slide. You slide the un letter under the door and give it a knock. Oh, oh, no. It's that... Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. I can't. I just... I just slide it back out. No, no. I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um... It's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my gosh. Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my gosh. Oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you um, wrote that way. It's surprising too, after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this? And so passionately too. Wait, what was on the letter? You know what, okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make, up, make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. <laughs> Dating start. Oh, <gasps> so it was the other one. Uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. Okay. <gasps> oh, how do I look? Adorable. My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got great sense of. Um. Anyways, let's do this thing. Dating. H hey, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating stop. Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That will increase your success of outcome on to the date, right? Anyways, don't worry. I'm prepared. I've got stockpiles of gifts in anticipation for our date like this. First, I've got some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that. But, I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Um, the scales. Oh, uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I... Oh, it's for Undyne, not me. Undyne's the one that wrote the letter, silly goose. Hey, let's forget about these items. <laughs> let's just start the date. Dating start. Oh, sorry. Uh, let's, yeah, let's, uh, date. Um. Can't, can't move. <laughs> She's getting nervous. No, um. Do you like anime? 
Yes. Hey, me too. <laughs> it's so awkward. Ah, uh, this is worse than a fight. Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. <laughs> there we go. Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. Hey, she's really, uh... Oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, here she comes. Hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that, that thing, it might be a bad idea. So, I, I gotta do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? Nah. Have you at least seen her? Yes. Yeah? So she's somewhere around here? Thanks. I'll keep looking. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. Aww. So caring about my feelings. I appreciate that. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry. I messed up again. No, you didn't. Undyne's the person I um, really want to go on a date with. But I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't um, cool, <laughs> but Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her many lies. She thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll find out the truth about me. Aw, Alphys. What should I do? Keep lying. No. <laughs> tell her the truth. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't that it better that way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or truth where neither of us are? They say, be yourself, but I don't really like m uh, who myself is. I'd rather just... I'd rather be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> That's not true. Don't do that. No, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared of what will happen if people learn the truth on my own. On their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the truth? I do don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Let's role play. Obviously, let's role play. Let's role play it. Obviously, let's role play it. Let's role play it. Role play? Like Dungeons and Dragons? That's actually it sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? Uh, I'll be Undyne. Oh, right. Obviously. <laughs> uh huh. -hmm. Uh, hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? <laughs> You're cute! <laughs> Do it! You're cute! Thanks! <laughs> you say a l that to me a lot, and I never know what to say. But <laughs> She said this before? But I know you just mean it platonically because we're just friends. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, so I'd like to uh, talk to you about something. Mm. <laughs> then she kisses you. What is it, Alfie's? Or then she kisses you. <laughs> I don't know what. What is it, Alfie's? Um, you see, I, 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 I haven't been actually truthful with you. You see, I, I, I. Oh, forget it. I'm dying. I, I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and so strong and so nice. You always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. You always do your best to make me feel special. Like telling me that you'll 
beat up anyone who gets in my way. Undyne, I can't take this any longer. I'm madly in love with you. Hold me, Undyne, hold me. <clears throat> what did you just say? Uh, Undyne, I was, I just, hey, whoa, wait a sec. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but uh, I actually we romantically role playing as you. I mean, actually, we were only romantically role playing as. <laughs> wow, that just escalated quickly. What? I mean, <laughs> I mean. Undyne, I... I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well... Everything. I told you that the seaweed was, like, sacrificial in, in the... I like ice cream and those human history books and keep reading it. Those are just dorky comic books. And the, the history movies, they're just sort of anime. And they aren't real. And the time that I told you that the, the busy work and I'm eating frozen yogurt and Alfie's. I, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I'm smart and cool. I wasn't some nerdy loser, Alfie's. And I, I really think you're neat, okay? Alfie's. Shh, 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 shh. <gasps> what? Alfie's, I think you're neat too, I guess. But you gotta realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is nerdy, just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is. You care about it. 100% at maximum power. So you don't have to lie to me. I don't want to have to lie to you anymore. Alfie's... I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I don't just... And I know just the training you need to do that. Undyne, you threw me in the trash can. <laughs> You're gonna train me? Aww. Pfft, what? Me? <laughs> Go away, Jack boy. Nah, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. <laughs> Get those bones shaken! It's time to jog a hundred laps hooting about how great we are! Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Undyne? I'll do my best. Oh my gosh. She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? <laughs> <laughs> Anime is real. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come! <laughs> uh, thanks for taking care of Alfie's. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things just seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. What just happened? Like, seriously. Oh, there's the flowers. Is there any secrets down here that I need to know about? There's quite a few brands that you recognize. Hmm. Alright. Should we save? Let's go ahead and save. Partaking in with this garbage fills you with determination. <laughs> Now, wasn't there a way to get piles of garbage? There's quite a few brands that you recognize. Nope. Okay. This is where that dummy was, right? Old PC. Ring. Howdy! If it isn't my good friend who trusts me, this is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alfie's and I finished our training early. 
Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Um, now, I feel stronger. Strong. I feel strongly. And for no apparent reason. You should also go there. To her lab house. I have to. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Click. Okay. So. Um. You feel calm and tranquil. You're filled with determination. Save it. Alright, and since we're right here, I didn't have the key out last time. But, what happened? It's locked. Uh, we hit the C key items. Mysterious key use. The red file store is unlocked. <gasps> we're discovering so many things. The key disappears. What is this? Oh, I can't get past the things. Okay. What is what is this area? What what is what's going on here? Hey, hey. Dear diary. Sheer Sheeran's sister fell down recently. It's sad. Without her sister to speak for her, she's become more reclusive than ever. So I reached out to her and told her that she Blukey and I should all perform together sometime. She seemed to like the idea. Dear Diary, I like to buy a new diary for every entry that I make. I love to collect diaries. Dearest Diary, our cousin left the farm to become a training dummy. That leaves just Blukey and I. Bluki asked me if I was going to try to become Corporal too. They sounded so resigned. Come on, Bluki. You know I'd, I'd never leave you behind. And besides, I'd never find the kind of body I'm looking for anyway. My darling diary, I met someone interesting today. Last week, I posted an advertisement for my human fan club. Today was our first meeting. Only one other person came. Honestly, she's a dork. And she's obsessed with these awful cartoons. But she's kind of funny, too. I want to see her again. Talking about Alfie's. Diary, my dear. My diary collection is going fabulous. I have like five now. Dear Diary, she surprised me with something today. Sketches of a body that she wants to create for me. A form beyond my wildest fantasies. It's a form that I could finally feel like myself. After all, there's no way I can be a star the way I am now. Sorry, Blukey. My dreams can't wait for anyone. <gasps> what? Hold on. So is she... Is, is this... Dear Diary, Sharon's... Sharon's sister fell down recently. It's sad without her sister to speak for her. She had become more reclusive than ever. So I reached out to her and told her that she, Blokey, and I should all perform together sometime. She seemed to like that idea. Okay, so if um, Blokey's a ghost, and then he said that uh, the ghost went into the training dummy's body, remember that the ghost, the training dummy that moved around and stuff, was possessed by somebody? That was the, the second ghost. There was a third ghost here. And from the looks of it, I would... I would say that Alfie's created a robot and put a ghost into it, not a soul spirit of a human. Hi, Bluki. Uh, I'm going to keep working on that mix CD. The computer internet browser is open to music sharing forum. Looking inside the fridge. Open it. It's empty. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it. Sometimes. Okay. Uh, 
Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Blueky Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. That place is a lot of business. Well, most of the day. Just came here again once a month. Okay. So let's head on. I think we're all set. Tra la la. Care for a ride? Yes. Uh, we're at 25 minutes. Uh, right in the boat? Yes. Where should we go? Hotlands. Then we're off. We've done a lot of progress this today. Like, a lot of progress. Tra la la. The water's wild today, and that's bad luck. So, we're heading back over to Alfie's. Come again sometime. Tra la la. <clears throat> there we go. All right, can we go in? Yes. In we go. Still watching it. <laughs> it's a beat up figurine of a female human with cat ears. Oh, what's this? It's a note from Alfie's. Read it. Let's read it. It's hard to read because the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me, but as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note, and it, you all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Okay. Are we ready? We might go over 30 minutes, I'm just saying. So, warning, warning, elevator losing power. EM something, altitude dropping. Ooh, that's not good. The elevator dropping fills you with determination. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, not funny. Well, we're not going back out that way. Hello. What's this? Injury number one. This is it. Time to do what the king asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Oh gosh. Soul power can only be derived from what is once living. So to create more, we will have to use what we have now, the souls of monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible strength. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host and unlike the persistent souls of humans the souls of monsters disappear immediately upon death if only i could make a monster's soul last entry number f number five i've done it using the blueprints i've extracted it from the, the humans using the blueprints I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. Entry number three. Okay. So, it skips, okay, okay. Shh. 
Quack, quack. It skips from three to five. Where's entry number four? Did we miss it? Determination. Okay. Save point. Save. The true library. What is this? Buy chips for 25 gold? Sure, why not? The vending machine dispenses some chips. What is this? There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. <clears throat> Elevator, lost power, enter the center door. That's all you could read. What is this? It's a fake plant. Okay, was this one over here a fake plant too? It's a fake plant, okay. Enter, cannot enter the center door, okay. Power room. All right, let's keep to the left. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. <clears throat> They're still comatose, and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if you inject determination into them? Their souls persist after they perish. Then, freedom might be closer than we all thought. Entry number nine. Hold on. We're missing some entries here. Uh, I need to... Uh, yeah, that'll work. So we had... Uh, one, two, three, five, six, and nine. I wonder if that's going to be significant later. Entry number nine. Things aren't, go aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get their souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back f for the funerals. People are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? <clears throat> what is this? It's some kind of operating table. It's sticky. Some kind of operating table. It's sticky. Some kind of operating table. It's sticky. What, what is this? What is this? Is this a table? You turn on the sink. You turn on the sink. You turn on the sink. Well, hello. What is that? Drew, drew near. Act A. Stat, sell, item. You take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. Come join the fun. Oh, gosh. That doesn't look fun. But nobody came. Memory head A. Uh, what if we join? Join the fun. Then hold still. Lorem Ipsum. Lorem Ipsum is like random random text. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Nobody came. Refuse. That's a shame. Come join the fun. It's a real get together or something. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. It seems like it doesn't care. It seems like it doesn't care anymore. Spare! You won! What is that? There's a red key lying in the sink. Yay! You take it and put it in your keychain. 
There's a note on the ground. You can't make it out at all. Drain dropped it. That's all you could read. Click. The red key fits perfectly into the slot. Oh. Okay. The red key switch has been turned on. Okay. So that must be the key to over here. Well, what were we on? We're on nine? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So that's that's where that's going. Uh, let's go ahead and save because... And does saving... Yeah, we got, we got all of our life back. We're at 35 minutes. If you needed to go somewhere or do something, feel free to come back to this video anytime. Promise. Entry number 12. We're just skipping all around here, aren't we? Entry number 12. <sighs> Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Uh oh. What is that? It's an empty dog food bowl. Aww. Okay. It's a fake plant. It's a bed. It's a bed. What is this? It seems like a comfy bed. You could probably climb into it if you were if you were to the left of it. Ah. Seems like a comfortable bed. Lie on it? Sure. Bed, lie on it. Yes. Well, what happens if we just stay there? Keep laying here? Should I keep going? Okay. It's a little bit creepy, but it's okay. It's a bed. It's a bed. There's something under the sheets. Check it out. Yes. It's a key. It's a yellow key. You put it under your keychain. It's a bed. It's a bed. It's a bed. It's a fake plant. Fake plant. Clock is broken. Entry number 14. Okay, that actually goes in order. Where's my thing? Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. Save point. Save! Uh, down in this room. Entry number 15. Oh my gosh. 15. Seems like the research was a dead end. But at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls. I sent the souls back to Asgore. Returned the vessel to his garden. Returned the vessel to his garden. And I called all of the families and told them that everyone's alive. I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Smiley face. Entry number sixteen. 
No, 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 no. 16. No, 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 no. It was just no, no, no. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. What's down here? Nope. <laughs> I guess that's the only way I can go. Oh, it's, it's slowly walking instead of doing normal walk speed. There's a green key lying in the bathtub. You took it and put it on your keychain. It's an empty bathtub. It's an empty bathtub. Okay. <sighs> that was awesome. That was the no, no, no. This is everybody was happy. Sending them home tomorrow. Going the opposite direction. Whoa. Entry number 11. Aha. There's our missing entry. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made, made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. <clears throat> what are these? Are these like fans of some kind? Turn on the switch. There's a switch on the wall. Press it? Yes. There we go. Hello. Hello, little buddy. Hello, big buddy. Should I hit the switch again? Hit the switch. No. No, the switch. The switch. No. 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 Wait, wait, wait. Can I do the... Hold on. I can't, I can't do anything. I was going to get the stick. <clears throat> Item. Don't have the stick. I got some potato chips. Um, act. Can we beckon? You call him. It bounds toward you. Fletching a strange liquid from an orifice. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Is hovering close, looking for affection. All right, let's pet him. You pet him. He convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Z suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly onto the walls. Amalgamate. I can't say it right. I'm just going to call him Doge. Multi leg Doge is striking the wall with its claws. Aw, pet it. You try to pet it, but your hand phases through it. Must not want to be petted for now. Aw, poor Doge. Can't even pet the Doge. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I <laughs> almost striking the wall with its claws. Um, should I ignore it? Can I play with it? You throw a weapon into the corner of the room. Abigail brings it back to you proudly. You repeat this process a few times. Now it's very tired and it leans its dripping amorphous body on you. Uh oh, no. Is twitching affectionately. Okay. Let's uh, let's try and ignore. You try looking away, but it seems to appear everywhere you look. Oh no! It is twitching affectionately. We can't spare it yet. 
Twitching affectionately. Beckon. Let's keep Beckon in it. Uh, feelers rotate. Okay, it's feelers rotate quickly and nothing else happens. Twitching affectionately. Um, play. Seems too tired to play. Oh. Twitching affectionately. Beckon. Feelers rotate quickly. Nothing else happens. I really wish I had had the stick with me. Alright. Let's try to pet it one more time. Pet him. Starts to generate a strange eye happiness froth. Stage one happiness froth. Oh, really? Really? I just had to stay down. Alright. It's con convulsing. And play. Seems too tired to play. I really have to, like, pick the correct one. Owie! Owie, owie, owie. I'm trying to get this guy to go in direct, like, diagonals. It's not working. Convulsion. Back in. Enemy fillers rotate quickly. Nothing else happens. Okay. Convulses and... and Alright. Yep. Um... Pet. What? You pet decisively. The M seems to be satisfied by all of this. Look at all the doges. Endogeny is... Endogeny? Is contented. Endogeny. Okay, uh, hold on. We got, we got the mercy. Barrett, you won! Sweet. Alright, so can we go back across this way? <laughs> now that we've gotten rid of all the fog. Let's head back. Alright, save our determination. I've noticed that it's not saying, like... Oh, wait. Golden flowers. Like, tons and tons of golden flowers. Hello, Mir. It's you! Entry number seven. Seven, seven, seven. <clears throat> Six, number seven, we found. That's good. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster's souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters. A monster cannot absorb the souls. Just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. Just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Hello. Entry number 10. Nine number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. Oh, it doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever. Whatever. They're a hassle to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and won't let go. Wait, the seeds just stick to you and won't let go. What are you talking about? Something to do with the golden flowers? What? <laughs> That's another monster! What are you? Act on that thing. Uh, mystify. You did something mysterious. Blank recognizes it has more to learn from this world. Didn't make my choice? Oh no, what was that? Act on that. Hum? 
You hum a familiar tune, but no one heard you. Afraid of... Something afraid of. Oh. Really? Really? Alright. Clean. You wash your hands. Nothing happens. Oh, come on. Let's pray. You kneel and pray for safety. Remember, it's consensus. Remembers it's consensus. Conscience. I cannot read that. Afraid of. What are you afraid of? Should we pick on? Pick on. Paperbird seems to remember something. Something finally gets it. Courage, ribbit, ribbit. Whoa, it's like you're you're four monsters in one. No, no, no. Reaper bird seems. Aha! Ah, it's good. It's good. Mercy. You won. Earned zero zero. Sweet. Hello. There's a note on the wall on the ground. Can't make it out at all. Cold. That's all you could read. It's some kind of switch on the blue co There's a blue colored slot in the center. Okay, so I've got the red and the green key, but I don't have... Okay, I'll have to come back. There's the entries. <sighs> Did I just see something? Hold on. Okay. That sheet got pulled down. Just a regular suspicious bed now. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Nope, nothing. Dog bowl. What are we missing? Is there another way to go? Hold on, have I gone everywhere? Wait. What, what did I miss? Hold on. Let's go back. I can't get through there yet. Power room. Oh, here we go. No. Entry number 12. 12? Yeah. Yeah, we've done these. Okay, okay. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, go, 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 go. Sorry, sorry for the delay, everyone. <laughs> it's over an hour long. Okay. I heard this sound, the beep sound. We've been down and to the right, right? This is where the fans are. Can we turn the fans back off? The switch doesn't do anything. Okay, that's what cleared out the fog and then we had to fight the doge. Now that the fog is gone, does that change anything in this direction? Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. You're not a save point. <laughs> you fooled me. <laughs> Smells like sweet lemons. Lemon bread. Oh, you're not sweet at all. <laughs> All right, should I hum, flex, cry, scream, unhug? Let's do unhug. You let lemon bread be, um, Brad's teeth shake. Welcome to my special heck. Whoa. I see your missing teeth. There you go. Okay. 
Smells like sweet lemons, lemon bread. Can we call? You called for help, but nobody came. That's what they all say. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> all right, lemon bread. Let's hum. You hum a familiar tune, lemon bread's body shakes. That's what they all say. It seems like it's only on the right side. Okay. Um, scream. Scream. Screamed out. Nobody came. Stay here with me. Oh no, it's on the other side. It's in the middle. It's right there. Okay. Um, yep, yeah, we'll, we're gonna go ahead and use that. Next out. Stay here with me. Where's the missing tooth? No, 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 wrong side. Wrong side, wrong side, wrong side. That smells like sweet lemons. No, no, I don't want to use something else. Let's do act. Flex. You flexed your arms. Lemon bread seems to remember something. I've felt that, this before. Here, 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 got it, got it. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait a second. That's not fair. Really? Could this good be goodbye? Yay! Mercy spare! Zero. Okay, let's go down here first. Hello. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it out at all. Under sheets. That's all you could read. Click. Yellow. The yellow key fits perfectly into the slot. There's a bunch of VHSs. Seems like mostly cartoons of some kind. There's a VHS player with the tapes picked out beside it. They seem to be labeled in a specific order. Will you watch one? Uh, tape one. Psst. Gory, gor gory, wake up. Moo, what is it? What is it, dear? Er, why do you have that video camera? Shh. I want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest. What are my favorite vegetables? Hmm. Carrots, right? No, no, no. My favorite vegetable is... Ed... Edamon... Get it? Oh, ha ha, pun. Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. Hee hee hee. Now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? Hmm. I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be a Mamaranian. Mom Mamaranian. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous Mamedian. Well,. I'm going to bed. Hey, come on. Tori. Oh, it's Toriel. <clears throat> that one was funny. <laughs> I know. I'm just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh, dear. Perhaps it's too dark in here for the video to come out. <laughs> Choose a tape to watch. Okay, so we did tape one. Tape two. Okay, Code. Are you ready? Do your creepy face. Ah, hee hee hee. Oh wait, I had the lens cap on. What? You're not going to do it again. Come on, quit tricking me. Ha <laughs> ha. Video tape to watch. Tape three. Howdy code, smile for the camera. Ha, <laughs> this time I got you. Left the cap on, on purpose. Now you're smiling for no reason. Hee hee hee. What? Oh, yeah, I remember. When I tried to make butterscotch pie for Dad, right? The recipe asked for cups of butter, but I accidentally put in butter cups instead. Yeah, those flowers got him really sick. I felt so bad. We made Mom really upset. I should have laughed it off like you did. 
Um, anyway, where are you going with this? Huh? Turn off the camera? Okay. Choose a tape to watch? Yeah, let's go to tape four. I don't like this idea, Code. Why does he keep calling my name? What? what? No, I'm not... Big kids don't cry. Yeah, you're right. No, I'd never doubt you. Code, never. You... Yeah. Well, be strong. We'll free everyone. I'll go get the flowers. Choose a tape to watch. <clears throat> Code, can you hear me? We want you to wake up. Code, you have to stay determined. You can't give up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Psst, Code, please, wake up. I don't like this plan anymore. I, I... No, I said, I said I'd never doubt you. Six, right? We just have to get six. And we'll do it together, right? This is getting serious. Okay, so we've watched all the tapes. There are a bunch of VHSs. Seems like they're mostly cartoons of some kind. They seem to be alphabetized. Save for a few stray sticky ones. Entry number four. We found entry number four. I've been researching humans to see if I can find any info about their souls. I've ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes. I don't feel like Asgore's watched them. I don't think he should. Aww. What is that thing? I can't look at it. Okay. <clears throat> this does not have a thing. DT Determination Extraction Machine. Status inactive. Entry number 19. Okay. That's going on to a different list. It's way beyond 16. Okay. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. Entry number 20. Asgore left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. I don't want to open that because it's shaking. Entry number 21. I spend all of my time in the garbage dump now. Hold on. Entry number 21. Was that entry number 20 back there? It's my element. Hold on. Was this entry number 20? Yeah, entry number 20. I need to write that one down. 20. Okay. As we're looking at five messages, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Let's open it. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. It's moving. Okay. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. You're not empty. You're not even a refrigerator. Silly goose. It's so cold. Uh, act. Heckle. Joke. Joke. You told a bad pun about snow. It ex it, it's... Her expression starts to shift. Haha. <laughs> I remember. Oh, It's so cold. Laugh. You laugh and keep laughing. It's so funny, you can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't... You didn't do that? Snowy. Oh. 
This is like super creepy. Let's try a heckle. You said something like, you look horrible. Why are you even alive? I didn't say that. What? You didn't say that? Snowy. It's so cold. Let's do another joke. Totally bad pun, her expression changes more. Haha, <laughs> thank you. It's so cold. Told a bad pun about snow. She's completely calmed down. You won. Earned zero experience points and zero gold. And there's the last key. Yay. Blue key on the ground. Put it on my keychain. Here we go. Okay. Last thing. There's a note on the ground. Should give us a clue. Can't make it all out. Curtain. That's all you can read. All right. Click. The green key fits perfectly into the slots. Let's go. I'm still worried about this this fridge here. This is this refrigerator. It's empty. Hope we figure out why it's shaking. Uh, did we go down here? Yeah, we got that key in there. So the last one we need is the blue key, right? And the blue key should be this direction. I think. Nope. That's where the switch was to turn on the fans. Okay, so let's stick this back over here for the moment. <clears throat> My apologies. It has been over an hour. <laughs> Save. I know we're getting close, but this is this is way too long. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill it right now. Um, <laughs> wow, one hour and seven minutes. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, thank you everyone for watching this episode of um, Undertale with me, Heath Askins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We're just about done. And we'll talk to you very soon. <gasps> Outro. Thank you.